Good morning. I am Dr. Prashant Joshi. We were discussing today regarding myopathies. So myopathies are a heterogeneous group of disorders that can be challenging to diagnose. Basically, myopathy is made up of two words. Myo means muscle and pathy means affection. So any disease process that or disease that comprises of affection of muscles are called as myopathies. They are a very large group of disorders and are very difficult to diagnose. The purpose of this lecture is to provide a diagnostic approach based predominantly on clinical history and neurological examination. In approaching the evaluation of a patient with a suspected myopathy, one of the most important components is a comprehensive medical history. The myopathies are a disorder affecting metabolism of skeletal muscles, channels, and structures. So, there are huge variety of disorders across medicine that affects myopathies and it is a very heterogeneous group of disorders. There are vast number of causes that may cause defect in the muscles. One is drug-induced myopathies. These are the group of myopathies caused by toxic effects of the drugs. As you know, there are many drugs that affect the muscles and damage. The classical one of the drugs we are using are statins. That cause statin-induced myopathies. Then there are endocrine myopathies. Basically, endocrine myopathies are the endocrine disorders that cause muscle damage. There is hypothyroid myopathy, there is hyperthyroid myopathy, there is adrenal myopathy, pushing word myopathy, hypocalcemic myopathy. So you see, there are vast number of endocrine disorders that causes muscle damage. There is inflammatory or immune myopathies, which predominantly comprise of polymyositis, infusion body myositis, or dermatomyositis. There are myopathies associated with systemic illnesses, like myopathies of systemic inflammatory response syndrome or hypomagnesemia, hypovolemia. And there are toxic myopathies. The toxic myopathies are myopathies caused by exposure to toxins like lead, mercury, or other toxic materials. So there are drug induced myopathies, endocrine myopathies, inflammatory myopathies, autoimmune myopathies. Myopathies associated with other systemic illnesses, toxic myopathies. These are acquired group, and there are heritage group of myopathies, which include channel pathies. Basically, muscles contraction comprises of requires large number of channels that uh, lead to muscle contraction for sequential activation, and any defect in these channels may lead to channel pathies. The muscle diseases. Because of defect in the channels, like tyrosine channels, Z receptors are called as channel pathies. There are congenital myopathies, there are metabolic myopathies, there are mitochondrial myopathies, which are because of mutation in mitochondrial DNA. So, mitochondria, most of the mitochondrial DNA that is seen in mitochondria is inherited from the mother and it is a double stranded DNA, very short. So, mitochondrial myopathies is a group of myopathies. Because of effect in the muscles, muscle mitochondria. There are muscular dystrophies and myotonias. So, while evaluating the patient of myopathy, we have to inquire which positive or negative symptoms does the patient experience and what is the course of temporal evolution of the myopathy. For example, a patient of muscle disease who presents right from 1 to 2nd year of birth and progresses to 18 to 15 years post very decent dystrophy or a patient of the same type of muscle disease which presents later in the disease 12 13 years may be a weaker strain does the patient have family history of myopathic, myopathic disorder if the myopathic disorder runs in families then patient might have a genetic disorder are there precipitating factors that trigger episodic weakness or stiffness this is used to inquire regarding the patient as a toxic myopathy or metabolic myopathy, inflammatory or some infections. Are there any associated systemic symptoms or signs present like cardiac, respiratory, hepatomegaly? And what is the distribution of the weakness? The patient has to be asked regarding symptoms associated with myop myopathies. Negative symptoms include exercise intolerance, fatigue, muscle atrophy and weakness. And positive symptoms include cramps, contractures, muscle hypertrophy, myalgia, myoglobinuria, and stiffness. 
the muscle diseases associated with myalgias are eosinophilic myalgia syndrome hypothyroid myopathy dermatomyositis infectious myositis especially viral mitochondrial myopathies myoadenylate dmns deficiency toxic myopathies and tubular aggregates So, muscle diseases associated with myalgia is eosinophilic myalgia syndrome, hypothyroid myopathy, inflammatory myopathies, infectious myositis, mitochondrial myopathies, myoadenylate DMS deficiency, toxic myopathies, tubular aggregate myopathy, and X linked myalgia. And myopathies associated with muscle contractures are Woody's disease, glycogenolytic, glycotic enzyme defects. Hypothyroid myopathy, paramyopathy congenita, and rippling muscle disease. The myopathies associated with muscle stiffness is hyperkalemic periodic paralysis, hypothyroid myopathy, myotonia congenita, myotonic dystrophy, paramyotonia congenita, and paroxysmal myotonic myopathy. Now, causes of myoglobinuria the drugs and toxins, especially alcohol, heat stroke. Myoglobinuria is basically a muscle breakdown which causes myoglobin to release in blood and then to urine. So, large amounts of myoglobin and dark urine they, uh, they come, it is called as myoglobinuria. Causes of myoglobinuria are drugs and toxins, heat stroke, inflammatory myopathies, they are rare, limb girdle muscle dystrophy, types 2C, 2D, 2E, and 2F, there are sacroglycan myopathies, and 2I, and Neuroleptic malignant syndrome, metabolic myopathies, prolonged intensive exercise, severe metabolic disturbances including prolonged fever, trauma, and viral and bacterial infections. The drugs that can cause toxic myopathies are inflammatory myopathy can be caused by cimetidine, D penicillamine, rocanamide, L tryptophan, and levodopa. Then, non inflammatory necrotizing or vector myopathies is caused by alcohol. Cholesterol lowering agents like statins, uropine, colchicin, cyclosporine, tacrolimus, metin, immunocaparoic acid, isoretinoic acid, vitamin A analog, levitolol, and cysteine. Neptomyolysis and myoglobinuria. They can be caused by alcohol, amphetamine, cholesterol lowering drugs, cocaine, heroin, toluene, immunocaparoic acid, and myosin loss. Is caused by non depolarizing muscular agents blocking his steroids. Then, pattern determination approach to myotherapy is also important because few myopathies, some myopathies present with some type of pattern that may help us to diagnose the disease. So, there is proximal limb girdle, distal weakness myopathy, distal arm progressive limb leg weakness, proximal arm distal leg weakness, dosis with or without ophthalmoparesis. Extensor weakness, prominent neck, bulbar weakness, episodic pain weakness and myoglobinuria, episodic weakness, delayed wonder exercise, and stiffness and decreased ability to relax. The myopathies that are characterized by predominantly distal weakness are centronuclear myopathy, e branched deficiency, hereditary inclusion body myopathy, inclusion body myositis, myofibrillar myopathy, myotonic dystrophy. And distal myopathy like Melander's or Monaka's myopathy. The scapulo humeral pattern of weakness is seen in acid maltase deficiency, central core myopathy, Emery Dufus dystrophy, facial scapulo humeral dystrophy, limb girdle muscle dystrophy, hemaline myopathy, and scapulo peroneal dystrophy. The myopathies. With ptosis or ophthalmoparesis are ptosis without ophthalmoparesis is seen in congenital myopathies, hemaline myopathy, central core myopathy, despin myopathy, myotonic dystrophy, and ptosis with ophthalmoparesis is seen in centronuclear myopathy, mitochondrial myopathy, multicore disease, oculopharyngeal muscle dystrophy, oculopharyngeodistal myopathy, and neuromuscular junction disease like myasthenia gravis. Lambert-Eaton syndrome 
and proper union. So myopathy is with prominent neck extensor weakness is seen in isolated neck extensor myopathy, dermatomyositis, polymyositis, inclusion body myositis, carnitine deficiency, pecioscapulo humeral dystrophy, myotonic dystrophy, congenital myopathy, and hyperparathyroidism. Myopathy is with episodic pain, weakness, and myoglobinuria or rhabdomyolysis acids are seen in either exercise or non-exercise related. In exercise related, there is couch potato syndrome, glycogenosis, Macarthur's disease, and lipid disorder like carnitine, palmitocyl, carnitine deficiency, and not related to exercise or center, non-nucleovascular disorder causing like neurolip malignant syndrome, status epilepticus, drugs and toxins, malignant hyperthermia, polymyositis, developed myositis, or viral bacterial infections. Episodic weakness, delayed or inactive exercise are periodic paralysis or calcium channel apathies, sodium channel apathies, Anderson table syndrome, and secondary periodic paralysis like thyrotoxicosis and other neuromuscular disorders. Stiffness and decreased ability to relax. If improves with exercise, it is myotonia, sodium or calcium myochannelopathy. Persons with exercise or cold, paramyotonia, sodium channelopathy, body's disease. With fixed weakness, they are myotonic dystrophy, TM type 1, proximal myotonic dystrophy type 2, Baker disease type 3, and others like malignant hyperthermia, neuromyotonia, Uttering disease, stiff person syndrome. So this was an overview regarding myopathies. We have tried to classify myopathies according to the pattern of distribution, the pattern of weakness, the types of diseases and etiologies that cause myopathies. After and at the last, myopathies has to be diagnosed by electromyographic studies in which EMG is done, which shows a typical dystrophic pattern that early recruitment and uh, small discharges. So myopathy, if it is dis uh, diagnosed with electromyographic studies, the patient has to be subjected to a muscle biopsy, which uh, clearly shows uh, disease pattern. So electromyography, muscle biopsy, and along with the whole uh, screening for all these disorders is a must for myopathic disorders. The treatment of myopathy is determined by what is the cause for myopathy. This is also all regarding myopathy. Hope you understand anything.